Hi, I'm William. Happy Vlogmas Day 2. I'm with my friends. Here's Tyler. There's Christopher. There's Hannah. There's, there's Tim. There's Danielle. There's Oscar. And we're listening. What? Are you recording a video on your camera? I she makes like $27 a day. It makes like $200 a day. On YouTube. She's a YouTube channel. Oh, really? She's got like 10,000 subscribers. Are you serious? Yes. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Guys, I don't really like when people talk about me. It makes me very uncomfortable. You like my camera? Thanks. Oscar says he likes my camera, guys. What do you think? Oh, yeah, wait, listen to the song. Wow. Oh, listen to Chris's song again, guys. This is his song that he sang. Wait, just do it. About a movie he didn't even watch. Chris had to do a movie review for class. And he. He did a movie review, and he didn't present anything. He just <laughs> first ten minutes. He literally could not get his laptop to work. He couldn't get his laptop to work, so he just played the trailer to the movie on her computer, mm -hmm. and then he what? played this song that he recorded this morning <laughs> on the way to school. And it's him filming himself speeding to school. He's going eighty on eighty on four eighty. <laughs> I can see the lights flashing from the, uh, the street. The what if, hey, what if like, Vince saw he got pulled over? <laughs> yeah, you are like the leader. That's my name. That's her. Well, I'm not called her, that. Her YouTube That's channel. Oh, this is embarrassing. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm away to save all the people of the This is you? Yeah. I'm away to school. Isn't, isn't it great? He says that. You played cool. this for class today. <laughs> <laughs> This is so freaking dumb. <laughs> you guys have a straight face. Oh, no, we were dying. I have it all on here. We were dying. <laughs> Goodbye, farewell, my friend. You better make like a hundred dollars off of We wear, we on pink, we wear Wednesdays. Wait, what? Bye, guys. I love you. Alright guys, it's like a bit later now. Sorry, I know the lighting's not very good. I'm in my room. Um, I did all my laundry, so laundry's all clean. I cleaned my room, I straightened up the living room, and I paid off um, some things that I needed paid off. I actually got a couple parking tickets um, because... Um, where I live, the city, um, it's like this downtown area, and parking is expensive, and there was like this one little 
place where I saw all these people parking and there was like no meters or anything so I would park there um, and apparently I couldn't park there and I parked there twice and got tickets for it so I had to pay those tickets off um, but now I'm watching I just watched some Justin Gabriel Conti and now I'm watching the LeBrant fam and um, if you guys know who the LeBrant fam is or not they're pregnant right now well Savannah's pregnant um, and so that made me think I was like oh my gosh I have to do my fertility um, test so if you guys don't know like anything kind of about my like weird journey is um, I don't I have irregular periods I have like higher testosterone like different like hormones of mine are just like a little off and I also get like a lot of pelvic pain um, um, and we don't know the cause but we finally have an ultrasound scheduled uh, for the 16th of December so that's gonna be a lot better and they also want me to get a col colonoscopy which is like ugh. But, like, you know, whatever you gotta do. Um, but um, there's some weird things that make me super nervous about, like, fertility and things like that. Because my dream is to, like, raise a family and, like, have children. And um, I want kids so much. And that's, like, literally, like, top tier. Like, I want that so bad. So, um, I got Everly Wells fertility test. Just this little tiny box of infertility. This measures your L. H, your FSH, your estradiol, estradiol, I don't know how to say it, estradiol, <laughs> TSH in your uh, testosterone levels, and this can just kind of like determine if you um, have any kind of like possible issues with your hormones that can impact like fertility and things like that. I don't know why my camera's like having trouble focusing. Um, you have to take it on specific days, so you have to take one like during like the first few days of your period. So I took mine um, a couple of days in my period when I finally got it after waiting for a really long time. And then it also says you need to take it again your 19th through the 21st day of your period um, or your cycle day. Um, so today's cycle day 21. So um, this is like it, the last time, like I just did some blood samples. Um, and I think you only need to fill up six of them. But last time I... I got one of these kits and I only filled up six and then I sent them in and then they were like, we, we don't have enough blood. Uh, so they sent me a free one. Um, so I'm redoing it. So I'm going to get my kit out. They provide you lancets, but my finger like doesn't give a ton of blood. So I have to poke multiple times. So I already used the four lancets they gave me for the last test. Um, but I have my own like lancet device. So, or lancing device. So we're all good here. One of the lancets, just going to remove it. Get rid of the old one. Add this one in, push it down till it clicks. And I always put mine on five, which is like the deepest setting it can poke you, just because I find that that works like a lot better. And I also like to use my ring finger because I tend to get the most blood from that. Um, and I don't go like in the, don't go in like the middle of your like <laughs> pad of your finger. I like go towards the side, and I also like will squish like this down like that because when I would go donate plasma and they'd prick me they would always do that and it worked better and then actually press this firmly into your skin don't just like graze it actually press down and it actually hurts like a lot less which is strange um but okay got some blood you really gotta like squeeze the blood up I don't know if you guys can see that but it takes me a while to fill up all all the circles because I figure like doesn't all doesn't give like a whole bunch of blood um, so I have to just, like, keep going back and, like, squeezing and squeezing and, like, going different places and stuff like that with my finger to get all the blood out that I need. Guys, I got this much done. I'm two lancets down. Literally, <laughs> I was, I wish I would have been filming. I literally, like, <laughs> was going to prick my finger and I was literally just, like, squeezing it and it squirted up. Like, the blood literally squirted at me. Like, it was disgusting. And I had, like, blood, like, running, like, down, like, my face right here. It might take me, like, two more lancets. I don't know. It just kind of depends um, on the response because, like, my... I don't really get, like, a whole bunch of blood out here. Usually, it has to, like... If it starts, like, running, then I know it's, like, a, it was, like, a good one. Oh, this one's kind of running a little bit. Um, but if it just like bubbles up, then it's it's usually not a good one. Um, but this one's running. This one's running. I don't see it squirting though. <laughs> it's just so weird that it just like literally squirted at me. All right, I actually almost got all these. Um, that was a good place to prick. 
Um, I just need a little more out because this one's not completely full yet. The circle, but that's not gonna be a problem. I'm getting a lot out right now, which is good. Um, and then you just let it sit and dry. And then once it's done drying, um, you put it in like the little bags they give you and I can ship it out for the lab to test me. So um, I can like update you guys once I get the email that my labs are in and we can like go over them together um, and hopefully I'll be healthy and hopefully by then I will have had the ultrasound so I can like update you guys with my health and things like that for anyone who's interested in that. Um, not that everyone would be. Um, so I don't expect everyone to be like, oh, I want to learn all about your health, Allie. Um, but it would be, it'll, it'll be like nice, a nice little platform to talk about like women's health and things like that. Um, in the meantime, because I really don't know what they're going to say. I don't know what the results are going to be like because of weird, like things happening with my like women's health. Like I just want to, I'm hoping everything's okay, but also I would like to just like, if there is something wrong, I would like to know, like, right now. <laughs> I'm in a position where I'm about to have kids because I'm so single. It hurts, but um, we are finished. We got all these filled up. I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to write everything on it, um, discard of, like, my lancets and everything, and um, <sighs> I'll probably do the dishes, uh, which I don't really feel like doing, but sometimes you have to do stuff that you don't want to do in life. So that's my words of wisdom for right now. And it's uncomfortable, it's for my growth. Because uncomfortability and growth are like oil and water. They don't go together. So when you're uncomfortable and you can't stand the place you are, God's trying to pull back purpose in your life. And Adam 